hundreds of thousands of commuters in the Western Cape and especially the Cape Town Metro in South Africa have been left stranded after a taxi strike entered its fifth day. It's been going since Thursday after the city impounded some of those taxis and talks between the government and the taxi association broke down over the weekend. That means commuters have been left stranded and had to walk from the early hours of the morning by dark along national roads, scared for their personal safety and trying to get to their places of work. The violence has increased day on day with shootings, looting, arson and attacks on motorists and also bus drivers. This is having a widespread impact on business and social services like schooling and health care, with clinics and schools in hotspots being closed and hundreds of thousands of learners staying away at the beginning of this week. The mayor says that the Taxi Association has made new demands. These include wanting to be able to drive in the emergency lane and a lane allocated for buses during rush hour, and they want the waiving of certain taxi licensing requirements which are ruled by national law. Things are currently at an impasse and there's no knowing the way forward. And in the meantime, civilians are becoming pedestrians as they try to make their way through their normal routine.